Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're gonna to cook some Cornell chicken on the pit barrel cooker. Now I was inspired by Ray Mack with Ray Mack's Kitchen and Grill. If you have not been to his channel, go over there and show him some love and let him know that Scott from The Real Show Barbecue channel sent you over there. He's a great guy, he doesn't live too far from me. So Ray, if you're watching buddy, I look forward to getting together soon. Let's do some fishing and do some great cooking. So what we need to do first is we need to get together the marinade that we're going to marinate the chicken with overnight. So hang with us and we'll get started on that marinade. The first ingredient is an egg, one large egg. Now you can change this up. I've seen different variations. This is my variation. So what you want to do is go ahead and mix this egg up first. got the egg mixed up and what we want to do now is add two cups of apple cider vinegar one cup of vegetable oil and we're going to mix that up real good Okay, now I'm going to show you these seasonings that I'm going to put in there. I'm going to dump them all together, but I'm going to show you one at a time what we got here. We got two tablespoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of black pepper. We got one tablespoon of poultry seasoning. If you can find the, the no salt, I recommend that. If you can't, you may want to cut back on your salt. And then also, my variation is I would like to use a half a tablespoon of this Wright's rub. This is the Wright's rub right here. Great stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and dump all that in together. Give this a quick mix. All right. We got everything all incorporated in there. So now what we're gonna do is put it together with our chicken. Okay, we got one small fryer cut up and we're gonna take this marinade and pour over it. We're not gonna pour all of it over there. We wanna kinda of save some so when we're basting the chicken, we're going to cover this with plastic and leave it in the refrigerator overnight for 24 hours. So hang tight and we'll get these on the grill.
All right, the Cornell chicken is ready. This is just one of the breast here. It's got some nice color on it. We're going to cut into one right quick. Let's see how it looks. Let's see, let's try from this side right here. It's got some nice color in it. The skin crisped up just a little bit. Got really nice color. We're gonna give it a try right quick. Still got some a little bit of juice in there, not, not a whole lot, but it should be super tender from marinating it for 24 hours. So let's give it a try. All right, everybody, we're gonna be doing a taste test. Here you go, buddy. What you think? That taste is really good. Is it moist? Yep. Got a lot of juice in it. Awesome. Let me try this. Mmm. It's got a lot of good flavor. I used apple wood on that, which is a very mild wood. This is super tender from that marinade. Again, in the show more section below, I'll be leaving the information. Um, one thing I do recommend is making sure you do not use, which I think I've already said this, is do not use a lot of salt. If you use the poultry season, it already has salt in it. Make sure you cut back on your salt because between that and the vinegar, it can be very overpowering. But this is a great, simple recipe for some super tasting uh, smoked chicken. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Mason, you got anything? Share, like, and subscribe. Bye. God bless.